Hey, let's talk about erasers. Different erasers have different strengths and weaknesses. Some of my favorites are the kneaded eraser, art gum or crumbly eraser, the magic rub eraser, the erasers on the back of a pencil, and the electric eraser. I have this little battery operated one, and this vintage drafting eraser from the 70s I affectionately call Large Marge. I set up a little pencil test with 4H, number two, 5B, charcoal, vine charcoal, Prismacolor, and even a ballpoint pen. Let's see how they do. First up, the kneaded eraser. Definitely my favorite because it's easy on the paper and doesn't leave a mess. The art gum eraser I never really use. I call them crumbly erasers because they just kind of fall apart. The magic rub is the best of the best. It's clean, erases almost anything, and is easy on the paper. Never underestimate the pink erasers on the back of a pencil. They're really good, but not very durable. This tiny electric eraser from Derwent, it's great if you just need to hit a small spot, but I would never use it for large areas. Now, Large Marge is a drafting eraser from a company called Bruni. She's big, cumbersome, plugs into a and eats lead for breakfast. I only bring her out for the jobs the others can't do, which can include ink. She's got a sandpaper type of eraser that's specifically made for ink. But be warned, her appetite knows no bounds, and she'll eat right through your paper if you're not careful. For me, the magic rub and the kneaded eraser are still the cleanest. But just like any art medium, try for yourself and see what works for you. As for Large Marge, I'll put her away until a job big enough for her large appetite comes along again. Sleep well, old girl.